Okay, let's look at example five. And I've learned from these past lessons that I am going to do my drawings ahead of time so that, that it I don't waste time doing it on the video. But let me explain my drawing. During an ice hockey game, a remote controlled blimp flies above the crowd and then drops numbered tennis balls. The number on each ball corresponds to a prize. So people are trying to catch them. So the blimp is 45 feet in the air, and here's a person who's catching it at 17 feet. Use the information to find the amount of time that the ball is in the air before the guy catches it. Well, you guys should be super familiar with this equation. I say it over and over now, so I'm gonna stop saying it. It's the vertical motion model. H equals negative 16 T squared plus VT plus S. And again, H is final height. V is the initial velocity, the initial speed on the tennis ball, and S is the initial height. Well, we can see that the initial height, right, is 45 feet. The tennis ball started up here. Well, I should have probably put the 45 there, but you get the picture. So that's going to be a 45 feet. The initial velocity is zero. Right, we see because there's nobody, they're dropping it, they're not throwing it. So a zero. And the final height that where the guy catches it is 17 feet. Right, and this is zero feet per second, I believe. Okay, so now we can take that information and write our equation. H equals, uh, so H meaning 17. Um, let's let me rewrite that. 17 equals negative 16 t squared. This term disappears. Of course, it would have to, right? Since we're not using that in this chapter. Plus 45. And I need to solve this equation. Well, my first step is to subtract 45 from both sides. Well, you guys know how to do that. When I subtract 45 over here, I get negative 28 equals negative 16 t squared. Well, that's easy. All I have to do is divide both sides by negative 16. So I end up with 28 sixteenths equals t squared. The book doesn't do that, but I know that if it were me, I would be simplifying this and dividing both by four and I would get seven over four equals t squared before I take my square root of both sides. Now I'm gonna take my square root of both sides and I end up with t, I'm gonna just move over here because I'm running out of space, t equals plus or minus the square root of seven over two, right, because it's the square root of seven over the square root of four, which is going to be two. And if I work that out, in other words, if I take this number, I'll end up with uh, t equals square root of seven is, what do we just did the square root of seven, right? 2.65 over two, a positive number, and I'm going to end up with negative 2.65 over 2. And once I do that out, I'm going to end up with a positive, let's see, 1.32 seconds, which is a positive number, and negative 1.32 seconds. But we know that we're not going to have negative seconds. So we know that only the positive number is actually going to count. And that's it. So that was 10.4 part two. Um, and I'm gonna probably hold a help session tomorrow at 1 p.m. as I did before. Um, and look forward to seeing you guys there. Bye.